Okay, hello again. Now, this time what I did is uh, I left you I left you with the uh, using cooler or and in CS6, which is fine. And what we're going to do now is I uh, I opened up Photoshop 2014 and I signed out of my Creative Cloud uh, because I wanted to demonstrate what would happen if you were at school. Now, a lot of our students do have Creative Cloud, but I just want, now you are at school. So you have a couple of choices here. What you could do is go under Help, go and sign in, just like we did last time. Okay, it says sign in now. Okay, in order... Okay, I'm going to say sign in. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in as Shadow, as my other, in my other persona, Shadow Mason at gmail.com. And I'm going to use my password. And I'm hoping this will work. Okay, it says I have 30 day free trial on this particular computer. Well, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to say start trial. That's fine. Okay, now, what you'll notice is, is this time I'm going to approach this a little bit differently. What I can do is if I go back to my browser, I'm still signed in as Cruller. Okay. So this is fine. I can still download it. Okay, so I can work here if I choose, even if I have CC 2014. Command T. I'm going to go back to my Photoshop file. But this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go to my extensions. And this time what we have is, if you're working in CC, what you're going to find here in extensions is you're going to find Cooler. Okay, in CC 2014, they changed that to Adobe Color Themes. I'm going to click on that. Okay, it's, it's looking at my account, trying to figure out where, what I'm doing. Okay, now, if I click here, you'll see the themes that I've saved from my previous ventures. So that's cool, okay. But what I can also do, so I have analogous, I have split complementary, and I have triad. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to create a monochromatic um, theme for myself. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create. Again, I'm already set at monochromatic, which is pretty cool. Okay, and this time I'm going to go ahead and head off towards the greens. Now this is a little this is a little bit more complicated. Okay, I got a nice light color here. I can lighten that up a little bit more. Okay, so we're good there. Um, I want a green that is really dark. So I got a really a dark I got a dark one. I'm gonna make it really dark. And I have these two are very, very similar. I'm gonna click here. And I'm not going to make this one quite so dark. Maybe make it a little duller. Okay, that looks good. Hopefully make this one a little brighter. Again, this is not quite as this is not quite as simple, okay, as the other one because they do move around a little bit. Now what I can do is if I wanted to, I could add these swatches right to my swatches here. And that's fine. I can do that. So we could go boom. And what you found is that they're here. I'm going to do it one more time. Now I'm going to have a repeat. Okay, so now they've repeated. What I can do here, and I did this earlier for you. But as I'm going to look for reset swatches, that's about here, even though it's kind of off my screen. 
it's not really fair to do for you but let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is make this window a little bit smaller bring this over here so you can see what happens okay go to reset okay okay save whoopsie okay I went back to my normal one now what I can also do try to make this a little smaller again for you okay let's try it again this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the swatches that I downloaded from cooler so I'm going to say load swatches go back to the my download folder back to fall download and here's the analogous okay so uh, sorry about that replace swatches that's what I was supposed to do fall download analogous okay I chose that make this window a little bit smaller for you so you can see what I'm doing open okay so now I've I taken and again using the swatches that I had previously I can do that okay this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to reset okay so now I have my original ones now what's kind of neat about this idea in 2014 which I really do appreciate what Adobe has done I gotta go back to create because what I need to do is I have to come here and I'm going to call this monochromatic okay I'm gonna save it okay it's saved because I've signed in if you're not signed in you won't be able to save my theme so there it is now what I'm going to do is I'm going to yank this panel and I'm going to put it right behind my swatch panel now this time if I choose I have my swatches all here in a row, which is pretty neat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. Again, I'm going to just type example Adobe Color Themes. Whoops color themes okay I don't want 1200 I'm gonna go with the 960 again and I'm going to make that 150 going to keep it at I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna knock my resolution down to 72 keep it RGB white background uh, color profile I want to make sure that I'm still working in SRG SRGB I'm going to say OK. It's thinking. OK, there it is. OK, so now what I can do is I can select all, Command A. Now, I can come here, select a color. And again, the same trick that I showed you earlier. OK, I'm going to go Option, Delete key. Now I have my green. Command D, get rid of those marching ants. Okay, this time I'm going to make another, another um, uh, selection. This time I'm going to use the middle green. Okay, again, option, delete. I got my middle green. Now, what I could do, cancel. I'm going to swap this. Okay, and then what I've done is I brought my background to my foreground color. I'm going to use this color. Uh, let's use something a little bit brighter so you can actually see the change. There we go. Okay, now I've changed my foreground color to the brighter color, and my background color is the uh, darker color. So now, if I wanted to, Command D, I'm going to bring this down. I'm not, make, I'm not 
really, you know, I always am a little bit of a budget. Now, I can again, this is my foreground color, option, delete, or what we could do is command delete will be my background color. Option delete, foreground color, command delete, background color. Option delete. Now I can swap them. This time I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make it a really light color. Move this over, I'm holding down my shift key. Okay, this time I'm going to make it my background color. And you'll notice that my background color is down here. So I'm going to use Command Delete. Okay, move it over. This time I'm going to use my foreground color, so I'm going to say Option Delete. Okay, so what I've done in this video is I showed you that you can still go online and you can use Cruller there, or Cooler and you can load your swatches. Now you might be curious, and which I did probably forget to tell you, is where in the Dickens did I find that? Well, where I found it was under uh, Windows and Extensions, and I used Adobe Color Themes, okay? I opened that up, and I'm gonna close it. Okay, I'm gonna open up one more time, and what you'll notice is it popped right into place. If it doesn't pop into place, what you can do is you can always drag it back into behind your swatches. So you got your swatches, you got your color, and you got your themes. Okay, well that pretty much wraps it up. I hope this helped you um, as far as creating some of your color selections. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, bring in my Photoshop files and I'm going to do some color work or excuse me my illustrator uh, files that I used uh, that I created last week and I'm going to use some of these themes to colorize and show you how you might want to do the homework okay well thank you very much and we'll talk to you in a bit bye bye